when you disarm the people, you commence to offend them and show that you distrust them, either through cowardice or lack of confidence, and both of these opinions generate hatred. Never was anything great achieved without danger. There is nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to conduct, or more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. The fact is that a man who wants to act virtuously in every way necessarily comes to grief among so many who are not virtuous. Hence it comes about that all armed prophets have been victorious and all unarmed prophets have been destroyed. War should be the only study of a prince. He should consider peace only as a breathing time, which gives him leisure to contrive and furnishes as ability to execute military plans. Severity should be dealt out all at once, so that their suddenness may give less offense. Benefits ought to be handed out drop by drop, so that they may be relished the more. Of mankind we may say in general they are fickle, hypocritical, and greedy of gain. A return to first principles in a republic is sometimes caused by the simple virtues of one man. His good example has such an influence that the good men strive to imitate him, and the wicked are ashamed to lead a life so contrary to his example. Politics have no relation to morals. I'm not interested in preserving the status quo. I want to overthrow it. Hatred is gained as much by good works as by evil. There is no avoiding war. It can only be postponed to the advantage of others. Princes and governments are far more dangerous than other elements within society. The new ruler must determine all the injuries that he will need to inflict. He must inflict them once and for all. Men rise from one ambition to another. First, they seek to secure themselves against attack, and then they attack others. The one who adapts his policy to the times prospers, and likewise that the one whose policy clashes with the demands of the times does not. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. The more sand has escaped from the hourglass of our life, the clearer we should see through it. It is not titles that honor men, but men that honor titles. There are three kinds of intelligence. One kind understands things for itself. The other appreciates what others can understand. The third understands neither for itself nor through others. This first kind is excellent, the second good, and the third kind useless. Whosoever desires constant success must change. 
his conduct with the times 